35. Let's see if I can do like one, at least one. More difficult than uh, 415, but I haven't got all my weights on there yet. I'm still missing some. Got, got literally. Well, I'm at. Actually, I could put like fives on there. I don't know. Let's see. Couple fives. It's about out of space. All right. I got 450 in the bar. Look at this, bending, see that bend right there? It means you're doing it right, I think. So 450 in the bar, hopefully I don't miss this. Look at, look at the, I have a, just, just a little dick here left. 450, I don't think I'm gonna do a different, different angle this time. We'll see. All right, on my, on my fucking mirror. Let's see. Does it feel right? Woo! Ah. Woo! Ah. I don't, I, I don't know. Woo! It's a little bit in there left. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a fine wine right here. Watch. Oh, that still burns. Ah. Make my wise, eyes water. Ooh. It's good shit. Ah. Not really. Oh, I hate that shit. Fucking smell. Look at my eyes. I think I'm crying. All right, but for real, these just—they take me back to a different time where I used to be. About four years ago, I used to work at a uh, agricultural um, facility, like a fertilizer plant. We used to have a, a hydrous ammonia. And my job a lot of times was to uh, empty the tanks after the end of the year uh, to decommission them. And I've had two or three different instances where I've emptied the tanks and they like went off in my face. And at that point you can't freaking breathe. It's like a fog of uh, ammonia and it's so bad. So those, every time I crack one of those, it reminds me of that time. And we just can't breathe. One time I, I got fogged so bad one time I had to walk back into the, uh, the the shop and I couldn't see the entire time. It was so bad. Even I, I had goggles on too, but it was so bad I couldn't breathe. I couldn't see. Um, it was terrible. There's a little bit of a gas of that stuff. I mean, if you ever been by a field like that before, where they're putting the ammonia down and you can smell it uh, with a knife on the end of the ground. Oh my God! It's like dunking your head into a thousand of those packets and just. Break them all at once. I know it sounds amazing, but it's not that great. Uh, that just reminds me every time. Anyway, I did 450 pounds for one rep. I can't go any, I don't have any more weights. Uh, I need to buy some more 45 pound iron weights. Uh, oh God, <laughs> still, oh, my nose is water. Uh, I need to buy some more iron weights, but I don't have a spotter either. And if I would have dropped it, um, I've been dropping it on my box and I've been like destroying that, destroying my wall. It would have been just, just, it would have been a nightmare if I, if I'd end up dropping more weights. So I'm gonna end up with 450 pounds for one rep for, I'm pretty happy about that. I, I know I can do more. I think, 
I mean, I'm pretty confident I can do 475, 500. I mean, that was kind of hard. And even I, when I went down the box, I sat down and rocked back, which you're not supposed to do. I did that in accident. So uh, I still lifted it. So I feel pretty good. I'm a deadlift now, so. Good shit to eat while you're back squatting, right? I mean, it improved, it improved my back squat like 500 pounds. Well, 50 pounds, not 500, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Still, smart food, sponsor me. Give me some caramel and cheddar mix. I need about 50 bags. This if you're watching. So there's my, there's my workout today. I'm actually gonna end down to like 185 because my shit hurts right now after that back squat. Well, my uh, down here, whatever the hell I call it, my fucking ass muscle that's always hurting. So yeah, I'm gonna take all these weights off. All right, finishing up my last couple uh, sets here and I'm eating instantly eat I love to eat right after workout feels good got uh, sausage which is not that great for you but I love it four eggs with the yolk uh, a thing of steamed vegetables pretty good stuff right uh, I ended up doing uh, uh, shru uh, not shrugs while well, doing shrugs uh, 205 rack pull uh, just hold it for 10-15 seconds and then after 15 seconds I just started doing shrugs like four or five I'm just fucking around and then uh, I was doing some front raises with the this dumbbell basically like this <clears throat> that front raise oh god gets gets that shoulder oh and then I was doing uh, curls with my dumbbell, which broke. Fucking literally snapped. Like, I'm a really shitty welder. This is one of the ones of dumbbells I made myself. Found two big old chunks um, of steel. Like, oh, that's heavy. It's like 25 pounds right there. This is a 50, 50 pound dumbbell. So that I've dropped it and it literally snapped. So I gotta re weld that shit. But that's what I was doing for 10 rounds. So, 50 of each of those, like 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna eat and finish this up. Hey man, do you touch my drum set? Nope. Cause it's just weird, cause it seems like someone definitely touched my drum set. Yeah, that is weird. Cause I didn't touch them. Hey, did you touch my drum set? Hey, knock it off. I know you touched my drum stick. Because the left one has a chip in it. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan. I know you touched my drum set, and I want to hear that dirty little mouth admit it. You get out of my face, or I'm going to roundhouse your ass. You swear on your mom's life that you...